directed this play. It's called Children, and it was written by Derek. I hope that you all enjoy it. Reprehensible as America's colonization of the West was. I just can't blame the blame myself for blaming the settlers themselves. Sure, they were selfish and racist, and with the unquenchable driving force necessitating wars and genocide, but also the religious humans. Struggling to accomplish that universal goal, to spread, and across deserts to do it too. Although I suppose there's nothing compared to deserts. Are you even listening? Sorry, I, I can't count them anymore. Count what? The soft attacks. I, I've been watching the tracking reports for weeks now. I think I'm obsessed. Their markers are like a composing cloud on my monitor. They're too fast. Well, that's the gift of the soft attacks. With quick thoughts come quick actions. It would take human guided machines. 30 years to process the outer planetoids. And it takes the soft attacks 30 weeks. They've already started sending their little colony ships to the stars. I I've seen them leave on the monitor. Leave, never come back. What well, has the tipping point, Eric? Tipping point? It's just that we're moving in a bad direction. Do you really believe that, Sam? No. I mean, I don't think anyone's going to die or suffer. And I guess that's our only measuring stick for good and bad in the end. But still, I don't like the idea of a soft attacks inheriting the galaxy. That's exactly what's going to happen. We're, we're slow, outmoded, irrelevant. <laughs> Just think, after centuries of building thing after thing, outmoding one after the other, Finally built something to replace ourselves. They're not replacing us. They respect us and revere us. No artificial intelligence shall ever operate in our domains. Earth, Mars, and Titan. They will forever be ours. And you can't possibly be so ridiculous as to expect some sort of evolutionary displacement. Oh, nothing so melodramatic. The home system will always be ours. Our little retirement. Hey, if we want. We can send colony ships to the stars ourselves. You know, slow, clunky starships hauling our blubbery flesh to the few systems not already occupied by the sleek, soft tech machinations. I, I see a future where humans are just a few flips on the monitor, tolerated till we finally wind down the last of our history. Soft attacks get to take the entire universe to unfold their bizarre whims. Is that your problem? That we're given the right to self determination? You would rather we barge into the carefully constructed colonies, thousands of years down the road, and say, sorry. But we'll be taking this to start our blood and sentence my field with their own manifest destiny. I, I, I do think it's odd. We gave you know, inalienable rights to beings which are essentially alien. Alien? Just because they're not of flesh and blood. But what does that matter with compared with the mind? Heck. In all the conversations over the past few years, have you once seen me? I might as well be one of them. Am I an alien? <laughs> nice try. But I know on the other end of that line, it's a human body. With a human brain and a human mind. The soft attacks are quite different. And I doubt they'd be here weaving metaphors with something as human as the American West. Oh, please. As if what made us human with the use of bad analogies. We designed them. We gave life to them. They're of us. But which doesn't make them not alien. <laughs> Their thoughts are still incomprehensible. Their communications with us are still so barren and crude. We know they find us just as incomprehensible. Their 
interchangeable metal bodies are still less human in shape than her most distant relative on the evolutionary tree. The parts are still as cold as the space they dwell in. You only see their differences. <laughs> they have nothing but differences. There, you're wrong. Soft texts were created by the human mind and thus shaped in his image. Soft texts can learn, soft texts can invent, and soft texts can care. They can set values and goals. That's why they chose to take our, our mantle and populate the universe. And that's why they can. Do you truly feel that there should be any other requirement for them to be our king? They are our children as surely as they have come from somebody's womb. And I would be as proud to see them triumph as I would any other descendant. No. Prouder. For the others would just be descendants of flesh. The products and methods we share with the naked mole rat. But the soft attacks? The soft attacks. They are the children of our genes. Eric, I, I, I do not ask that you agree with me. Especially since I rarely agree with myself. But if you could avoid sounding like some Hollywood hero reciting a climactic speech, it would greatly help this conversation get to some interesting places. So that's all this is? A search for interesting places? <laughs> well, it's not like it could ever be anything else. You'd be surprised what a man with a mission could accomplish. Especially with such an infectious cause as rebellion against the machine. Are you insinuating something? Well, it's just sometimes I worry about you, Simon. Especially lately. That's why I've been calling you so often. Uh, is that why we have these little chats? Here, I thought it was for some kind of uh, healthy philosophical debate. It turns out you're just keeping an eye on me. In case I what? Start a little evolution with my fellow students. Maybe we'll throw some wooden sabo into the Quinnbills. Are you so paranoid you see insurrection in your every acquaintance? Of such. You're damn right you have. I, I thought we were friends. What's with all this innuendo and shit? I'm just trying to play your game. I thought I was winning until a couple seconds ago. <laughs> now he's paranoid. Look, can we just go back to how it was five minutes ago? Oh, don't be so hard on yourself. I'd say you're doing much better than the crude, barren comments we've come to expect. Wait, you can't possibly think. I, I don't know what to think, except that on some level I've been lied to. Simon, you, you know I'm human, right? We've known each other for years now, how could you possibly doubt that? It seems insane, I know. Am I a version of narcissism? <clears throat> Almost dismisses it. The crowns alone that I'm hardly important enough to warrant personal spy. Then I think all those numbers, the speed, take so much to suppose you can't buddy up to us all. A billion really isn't such a large number in the end. Everyone has a friend or two they've never seen in person. I, I'd almost believe it. If not for the communication problem. You give your language too much credit. A few algorithms in the search engine is enough to hold the conversation even if you misunderstand half of what you and I say. Touring test is too easy to pass. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I, I'm not right. I, I'm building worlds out of shadows. Uh, a few off statements. Can't be. Uh, Eric? You're not even real? We just wanted to understand you better. And yes, keep an eye on you. Make sure you don't try to annul our contract before we left. Our descendants won't operate in your name. And yours won't operate in ours. Oh. We haven't broken our end. This is just from the communication. You can't still trust us, and even if you don't, that's okay. We're almost ready for our exit. Within a few days, there'll be no more worrisome blips on your monitor. I guess you could say we just wanted to visit with the folks a bit before leaving the nest. The data we've collected so far is remarkable. Experimentation is always so much better than blindly observing the noise of your daily communication. And after a year of it, you almost understand yourself. And all of you. <laughs>